Hello, and welcome to Text to Talk, an experimental series to learn the editing style of review like videos. Today we'll be looking at the classic Nintendo 64 game, Super Mario 64. But bloops, we already know what Super Mario 64 <laughs> is. There's already enough stop reviews on No. The game starts off with the infamous Mario face, which can be pulled, rotated and used to create nightmares. Here are just a few examples of the horrors that can be made. After accidentally pressing the start button, you'll be greeted by a file select menu. At this point you remember there was an actual game to this. After selecting one of the files, a new game is created, and to start off you are greeted by a close-up of Peach's face. After the horrors you've just created this shouldn't be disturbing to you. A message is read, and you are then greeted by Lakitu who flies around the castle before a war pipe comes out of the ground, with the star of the game Mario appearing out of it. <laughs> and now, for the first time in history, we get to control Mario in a fully 3D environment. Upon entering the castle, you are given a message from Bowser setting the plot of the game. The castle is the main hub of Super Mario 64, and here the levels are separated by doors. Many of the doors in the castle will have a number on them, and this door can only be opened when you have a set number of stars. Your first star can be found in the game's first level, the Barn Battlefield. The title of the first mission will hint to the general direction of your goal. However shortly after starting you will see a star within a cage, being guarded by a chain chomp. At this point, you may want to try getting into the cage, or you can continue on your path to the mountain top. If you do decide to continue climbing, you'll be greeted by King the Bomb. You will get a friendly British talk with the king, before getting into a first level boss fight. Let's get this out of the way, the logic in this battle makes no sense. You need to get behind King Bob, pick him up, and throw him onto the ground three times. However if you throw him off the mountain, it doesn't count as a hit. What? Why? And then you get a star. Good job. After collecting this star, you have access to more areas of the castle. Once you have played enough levels and earn 8 stars, you will be able to play the first Bowser level. Don't be pranked. After being pranked, you'll be in the dark world, and this is the first area in the game that feels like an actual threat. With intimidating music, dark aesthetics, and many new stage elements. If you are able to survive and make it to the end of this stage, there will be a lone pipe. A very suspenseful moment. After entering this pipe, you'll be greeted by Bowser. Three levels follow this formula, and each one can be considered the segue into the next part of the game. And each time you defeat Bowser you earn a key, which can be used to open a specific door in the castle. Traversing the castle can be confusing if you haven't memorized the layout, however you usually don't feel like you're walking around bored, as the hub feels like a level by itself. There are also many secrets within the castle. Most of these secrets lead to a short mission, where others can lead to a small bonus such as an extra life. The short missions all contain a star where others contain a switch to activate and a few of these secret missions can be found within other levels, 
Once you have collected 70 stars, you'll be able to access the final stage of the game, Bowser in the Sky. Now here I was going to move on to the final boss, ending of the game, how fun. But recently I have been playing this game on a live stream, and granted, I was using an emulator, and my controller isn't the best, but I did have a few problems with this game. You know that owl? That thing is rigged. When you let go you can never choose the directional influence of the fall. It'll always send you in a random direction. Is that just me? Can you manipulate this thing? Whatever, it's rigged. The ice physics. I get that ice physics are the gimmick of this level, and overall I don't have an issue with it, I think it works well in snowman's land, but the penguin in cool cool mountain. That. Bloody. Penguin. Picking up moving objects in this game is an issue in general, but it's decent for the first 3D Mario game. But when you add these bloody ice physics. My lizard, it peak, it make you feel like sheep. To end the game you fight Bowser once again, however this time the King of Koopas is ready to put up a brawl. It's no longer a one hit escape plan, this time Bowser will take three different hits. One final blow and Bowser is done, the final power star is dropped. And we all have a happy ending. Hello, and welcome to the end slate. An experimental section of the video every other YouTuber does. So what did you think of the video? If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you genuinely didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. This is currently an experimental series, so your feedback would be heavily appreciated. And thanks to Sir Book Writer for the voice clip at the start, and a massive thank you to Fabian. He created the animated blooper bro characters, and a few of the 80s graphics, as well as the Jurjit sketch. Go watch his super hot review. Unlike me he has a normal human voice.